Miss Lee's Chemistry Academy, Lab 4, Determination of Percent of Hydrogen Peroxide by Redox Titration with Permanganate Solution. Investigation. In this lab, a student is given a sample of hydrogen peroxide solution that was purchased from a drugstore. You then had to design a procedure to determine the mass percent of hydrogen peroxide in the solution by redox titration with standardized 0.02 molar potassium permanganate solution. Oxidation reduction reactions. Redox. A redox reaction involves a transfer of electrons between species being oxidized and the species being reduced. This type of reaction is balanced by two half reactions. Oxidation, the loss of electrons, and reduction, the gain of electrons. The basis of this balancing is that the number of electrons lost by the species being oxidized is always equal to the number of electrons gained by the species being reduced. A1. Standardization of potassium permanganate solution. When the permanganate solution is dissolved in water, it forms a magnesium oxide solid. Its exact molarity is determined by standardization and redox titration by the iron 2 plus ions according to the equation below. To prepare a 250 milliliter solution of 0.02 molar potassium permanganate solution, you need to dissolve 0.8 grams of potassium permanganate solid in 250 milliliters of water. A standard solution of 0.1 molar iron 2 sulfate is prepared by dissolving 1.519 grams of iron sulfate in water in a 100 milliliter volumetric flask as shown in the equation below. A2. Standardization procedure. To begin this experiment, you must measure 20 milliliters with a volumetric pipette of the iron sulfate standard solution and add it to a 250 milliliter conical flask. Then add 20 milliliters of 3 molar sulfuric acid to acidify the solution. You can then start the titration by adding the potassium permanganate solution from the burette into the flask with a magnetic stirrer on. Permanganate solution is a dark purple while magnesium 2 plus is colorless. An additional drop of permanganate at the endpoint turns the solution a permanent pale pink color. Make sure to record the initial and final volume of the titrant to be used in the calculations. A3. Potassium permanganate standardization data. In this data table, it separates its rows by the trial number and the second column shows the volume of the iron 2 plus solution volume, which should be constant. And in the third column, it shows the initial volume of the permanganate solution in the burette. And in the fourth column is the final volume in the burette of the permanganate solution. In the fifth column is the volume of permanganate solution used in the titration. And lastly, in the sixth row is the color description of the endpoint. A4, calculations. This slide shows the calculations for the lab. The first calculation is calculating the average volume of permanganate solution needed to titrate the iron 2 plus solution. The second equation is the calculation to find the molarity of the permanganate solution. B1, procedure, mass percent of hydrogen peroxide determination. First, you need to pipette two milliliters of the permanganate solution using a volumetric pipette into a conical flask. Then add approximately 20 milliliters of 3 molar sulfuric acid and turn on the magnetic stirrer. Before beginning the titration, record the initial volume of the potassium permanganate solution in the burette and then titrate the hydrogen peroxide solution with the standardized 0.018 molar potassium permanganate solution from a burette until a pale pink endpoint is observed. B2. Half reactions. The first reaction shows the reduction of the permanganate solution and the hydrogen peroxide solution, and the second equation shows the oxidation. The first equation shows the final balanced equation. B3, lab photos. Titrate hydrogen peroxide with potassium permanganate to a pale pink endpoint. The photo on the left shows a titration process with a magnetic stir and the potassium permanganate solution in the burette. The photo on the right is the final product of the titration showing the pale pink endpoint. B4. Data table mass percent of hydrogen peroxide determination. In this data table, it separates its rows by the trial number and the second column shows the volume of the hydrogen peroxide solution, which should be constant. And in the third column, it shows the initial volume of the permanganate solution in the burette. And in the fourth column, it is the final volume of the burette of the permanganate solution. And in the fifth column is the volume of the permanganate solution used in the titration. And lastly, in the sixth row, is the color description of the endpoint. 
Calculations. The first calculation is calculating the average volume of permanganate solution needed to titrate the iron 2 plus solution. The second equation is using dimensional analysis to find the grams of hydrogen peroxide. And the third calculation is finding the percent composition of the hydrogen peroxide in the solution. The last calculation is finding the percent error. B6, error analysis. Some errors that could have occurred include, one, if the solution appears to be colorless at endpoint, it means the endpoint has not been reached. A smaller volume of potassium permanganate titrated will result in a smaller mole and a lower mass percent of hydrogen peroxide calculated. Two, if the solution appears to be dark purple at endpoint, it means the endpoint has been over titrated. A larger volume of potassium permanganate titrated will result in a larger mole and a larger mass percent of hydrogen peroxide calculated.